the Pentagon was built in 1941 when the US was nervously watching Nazi Germany aggressively move all over Europe. At the time, the almost 24,000 War Department employees were spread out across 17 different buildings located in the District of Columbia. The site that was given for the new offices was a five-sided parcel of land that was almost adjacent to the Pentagon's current site. The chief of the design section, Major General Hook John Casey, was tasked to come up with a building that would best fit the area's unique shape. In order to maximize the site's odd dimensions, the designers and the architects came up with a pentagonal plan with each of five wedges connected through corridors. However, because some people were concerned that the new building would block the sweeping vista's view, President Franklin D. Roosevelt decided to relocate the offices on the current site on the 15th Street Bridge at the foot of the Virginia site. Of course, the new plot of land didn't have the same limitations, but the architects, noting the design's many advantages, stuck with their original pentagonal plan. As chief historian in the office of the Secretary of Defense, Erin R. Mahan explains, it would permit easier access from one part of the building to another than could be achieved with a more conventional square or rectangular layout. In addition, in order for the building not to obstruct the views, the whole structure couldn't be more than four stories high. To have 40,000 people in just 34 acres, Pentagon was the perfect shape and it also required very little steel, something which was important at the time since this precious metal was very much needed for building ships and weapons. And that is why the Pentagon is designed as a Pentagon. Hope this video was informative. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Sokuma Facts for more interesting updates. Have a nice day.